Ever since the release of the From Paper to After Effects series, I've had a ton of requests for the next videos that were to focus on the little girl character's creation and rigging and animation in Photoshop and After Effects. Unfortunately, by signing away the project's creative IP, we weren't able to release as much of the content as we wanted to, which essentially made the lessons a lot harder to teach, and therefore we decided not to go down that path. However, we know that there's a huge need for this kind of material out there, and I really want to show you what I've been learning over the last few years. So what we decided to do was create our own internal project that can then drive all the creative content we had hoped to show you with the From Paper to After Effects series. This new series will essentially pick up where From Paper to After Effects left off by introducing a new character that we've created in-house called Rocket Randy. He is based off the last internal project we did called Rockadies, where we created a simple little short and released all of the project files for people to use and follow along with in a brief tutorial set. This, however, will be a lot more in-depth and we haven't created the film yet. We'll start by reviewing the design process of this character in Photoshop and then move into After Effects to start rigging him up and preparing him for animation. Once the character's all rigged up, we'll go into the process of actually creating a scene for him because this character was not designed with a specific film in mind. The concept was more to get a puppet out there and then to create a scene around it. So we're working a little bit backwards. Typically, you would plan your scene first and draw your script and then design a character with a rig that's specific to the script. But we've gone a little bit backwards and created the puppet first. So then what we'll do is design a little scene around that puppet to create a really diverse learning opportunity so we can touch on a number of different elements, including background, special effects, compositing, lighting, editorial, sound, music. Essentially, we want to show you every step that we go through to create this mini short film. And while we create the film and tutorials, we'll be releasing a series of project files that you'll actually be able to open up, pull it apart, get a better understanding, and even just repurpose for some of your own projects. This will likely include project files from Photoshop, After Effects, Premiere, Pro Tools, and a few others. So, for those of you eager to get started, we have released the After Effects project files for a fully rigged, segmented version of the Rocket Randy puppet. He is still a work in progress, but the rig is definitely functional. Having spent the last several months rigging and animating in Maya, I've picked up some new concepts that I have managed to convert into the After Effects world and build into Rocket Randy. Although his face doesn't dynamically rotate and his hands are pretty basic, he does make use of some fancy controls and concepts that I've never addressed before. Rocket Randy is also the first fully functional multi-angled puppet that I've done that actually faces to the side and a front three quarters and functions all with one rig. So it's a pretty big step and I've never been able to get it all to work so seamlessly before. So it's definitely worth checking out if you're curious. When we are closer to the end of the design and rigging tutorials, we'll release an even more robust version of the Rocket Randy rig that will have some extra features, hopefully some resolved bugs, and use the puppet tool to achieve some soft joint deformations and some new cartoony limb bending stuff I've been playing with. There will be both a CS 5.5 and CS 6 version of the rig to download for free from our site. So just follow the link here, or you can pop on over to the website and check out the Rocket Randy page, and everything should be there, along with some details on what you need to do to grab the file. If you like what we're doing and want to get the latest information on our release dates for the next tutorials, have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, please don't hesitate to stop by our Facebook page. There's a lot of stuff that we do that doesn't involve releasing videos, and it all tends to happen over there. If you do go and grab the Rocket Randy project files and aren't quite sure where to start, make sure you check out our breakdown video that goes through the whole Rocket Randy puppet and all the features that are there. It should serve as a pretty good icebreaker before we get started into the many hours of tutorials that are to come. Now before you head down this long road of learning how to rig up this character and get things moving in After Effects, I suppose it'd probably be a good idea to answer the question, why are we using After Effects, when there are clearly some better tools and applications out there for character animation. I've been working extensively in Maya for the last little while, rigging up characters, doing a sort of 2.5D take 
on animating illustrations. And a lot of what I did in After Effects actually informed that process. And by creating rigs and characters in Maya, it has also informed my process in After Effects. And some of the benefits I actually discovered was that first of all, using After Effects is much easier on the whole than something like Maya or 3D Studio Max or Blender. If you aren't a 3D person and you haven't been working with 3D, it's a totally different mindset. It requires learning a lot of new techniques and understanding tools in order to achieve the 3D modeling that's required, the texture mapping that you need to do, the creation of joints, the skinning process, and not to mention the troubleshooting with your actual rigs. However, once you do finish building a rig in a strong 3D application, the animation tools do tend to be a lot stronger and the process is certainly more intuitive. So what it really comes down to is knowing your tool and understanding what you're trying to achieve. If you're trying to make a Pixar looking animated cartoon and you want to move all around your character and have lots of camera freedom, well then After Effects is probably not the tool to do the job. However, if you are looking to create a stylized animated world that can combine classical animation techniques with illustration, with some really fast and interactive cameras and lenses that can be placed and manipulated in a three-dimensional space, photographic elements, and some really nice filters and believable lighting scenarios, then After Effects can be a really good fit. And there's some really great tools and plugins out there that actually make the character animation process easier. So with all of that said, I hope you guys are as excited as I am to begin this project and start learning some new things. Please make sure that you give me feedback. If you guys see a better way to do something, let me know. I'm totally open to criticism and I really want to work with you guys on this and just make it a cool little video before we launch into our next big project, which we will be talking about shortly.